I understand that you are a Hollywood superstar because you make an appearance in a brand new Hollywood film. It's called <laughs> The 355. It stars Jessica Chastain, Penelope Cruz <laughs> and Diane Kruger, who are three very good friends of mine and ex-girlfriends. <laughs> and they also feature you. You're in this movie. Here is Polly Middlehurst reading the news, telling everyone that the world is about to end in this incredible movie, The 355. So first of all, Polly, congratulations. Uh, how did you get that gig? Oh, Mark, did I mention I was in a movie? I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, my, my agent called me. It's a bit of a dull story. Um, so I said, yeah, uh, why not put a tape together? Um, I've been doing it for a while. I understand a bunch of actresses went for it, but I think the fact that... I've been reading news for about 20 years, made a difference. Uh, Simon Kinberg, who's a director, had seen me before on the telly in hotel rooms and went, I'll have that one, please. And so that was it. Well, I think it's a brilliant performance. I'm going to ask Lorna to run it again in a second. But uh, clearly you're playing a newsreader, which is a role to which you are accustomed. Did they give you a script? They gave me a script. Uh, I was called to filming in Notting Hill. I was very excited. I probably got a bit overexcited. Um, we were taken to a house in Notting Hill, which was just somebody's house that they'd let out to the film company. I was shown to an upstairs room that was, I think, a kid's bedroom, but in the corner they'd stuck a, you know, one of these complicated Hollywood cameras and, 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 a, and a green screen. Uh, and I read it out about three times. Uh, and that was it. And I was, oh, I want to stay. I want, I want a bigger part. <laughs> Is that it? Um, so it only took me about an hour to do. And then I had to go to London a bit later on and do the ADR, which is the uh, additional dialogue replacement post-production, if you like. Uh, and then my son and I were lucky. If people look at my Twitter feed, at Telly Polly, you can see I took my son along to the cast and crew screening in London because the movie's out now. Uh, and I was able to meet all the other small part actors as well. I think I'm on for about six seconds, so it's not a lot to get excited about. Oh, listen, you may you made it. You made it last. How many takes did you have to do? I think three. That's 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 pretty decent. I'll be honest with you. That that's better than George Clooney. <laughs> and uh, Polly, did you receive millions for this? I assume that you're now just a newsreader purely as a hobby. Funny you should say that. Um, my friend who I went to school with, who now works for Fox Studios in L.A., she's uh, one of the directors on, on Family Guy, actually. She was on The Simpsons before. She said, oh, you're going to get 10 grand in residuals for that. Um, no. Uh, let's just say what a plasterer makes in a day about that. <laughs> well, let me tell you... I'd have done it for free, you know? No, I'd listen, have done it for free. The, the best role you've ever played is as star newsreader here at GB News. Thank you. My viewers love you, but if they want more of you, why don't they go and see The 355? It's winning rave reviews and it's in cinemas now, starring Jessica Chastain, Penelope Cruz and Polly Middlehurst. In fact, I'm quite interested in awards season. <laughs> I'm thinking best Oscar for a best supporting newsreader. Polly, brilliant work.